Javier, ¿cómo estás? Estamos aquí con David Duncan, Vice President de Mini de las Américas. David, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. David, so great to be here, and we're here at the Universal City Mini dealership, which I have to say is quite a spectacular uh, dealership. I've never seen such a beautiful place like this. But tell us a little bit about what is happening with Mini right now. Yeah, things are pretty good at Mini right now. Uh, I'll say the, the first uh, five months of 2015, our sales are up 28%, and I think that's uh, one of the top percentage increases out there in the industry. So we're off to a, a very good start to the year. And uh, a lot of that comes down to the fact that we've got some fantastic product right now. And it's product that we introduced at, uh, started to introduce at the beginning of 2014, early part of 2014. We introduced our uh, newest two-door hardtop. And uh, that began kind of a a move to starting to evolve all of the models within our uh, lineup. This year we launched a four-door hardtop, which is the first time we've ever had a four-door in that configuration. And it just has opened up more market opportunities for us. And we'll just continue to see the uh, product lineup start to evolve uh, into the future. Now, do you see that most of your cons uh, customers like to see more of the two-door or the four-door? You know, uh, in the in historically, our uh, iconic model, the car that you typically think of mm -hmm. when you're thinking of a Mini, is the two-door. So it has always been our number one volume selling car. Uh, but the thing is, now we offer Minis out there that are a much broader range. So we offer a four-door now. We offer a larger four-door in our Countryman model. And we even offer all-wheel drive for people that want to have the all-wheel drive option. So a lot of times people think of that one iconic two-door car as being uh, the Mini. But the reality is there's a Mini for everyone. Well, I mean, not, not only is it an all-wheel drive model, but it's quite the all-wheel drive model that you've actually won several times the Dakar Rally. That's right. Uh, the, uh, the Mini Countryman has been a four-time winner at the Dakar Rally. And uh, as you know, that takes place in South America now and is probably the most grueling endurance race on the planet. So we're pretty proud of the performance. And I, for me, it connects very well with the heritage of Mini because we have such a rich racing heritage going back to the original Minis that uh, were introduced in 1959. So for us to still be racing and still be winning is a testament to the brand. Elaborate a little bit more on that heritage. I mean, you were speaking earlier about the Monte Carlo Rally and the John Cooper Works. Yeah, it, it comes down to really what the configuration of the Mini is. So uh, Minis were built originally, the first Mini, in 1959. And it was during an oil crisis. And the idea was, how can we build the most efficient car that takes up the smallest amount of, of footprint but still offers a lot of interior space. So to do that, the designers pushed the wheels out to the corners of the car so that they had this very small footprint of a car, but when you got inside of it, because of that configuration, it actually had a lot of space. And then the well-known uh, racing developer, John Cooper, who also raced at Indianapolis several times, decided let's take this car and let's turn it into a race car. And because of that configuration, with the wheels being out to the corners, it actually performed very well. It was a, a, a great handling car. And uh, as you said, it won at the time in the 1960s uh, the, uh, the Monte Carlo Rally, which was one of the great races to win. So there's, there's this great heritage out, out there of us winning back in our, our, uh, our early days and then continuing to keep the racing program and different things going today. You know, I'm a great believer in racing programs, you know, benefiting manufacturers. What are you currently doing now in the U.S.? Yeah, so we've got several things going on right now. We have a race team that we're running in the Continental Tire, um, IMSA Continental Tire uh, Challenge, and uh, we race in the Sport Tuner class. I have two cars running right now. We've just started to develop this program. It's uh, with a company, uh, LAP Motorsports, out of Indianapolis. We've raced two races Developing the car, we, we've been running well. We're actually uh, very encouraged uh, by where we're seeing our performance right now. And uh, just looking forward to continuing to see that develop in the future. Then we also, another connection to in Indianapolis, we also offer a uh, driving school on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, 
which is very unique. Uh, as far as I know, we're the only manufacturer to ever have offered a driving school on the Indianapolis uh, track. Well, that is quite impressive. David, thank you so much for being on the show here with us today, and we really wish you much, much success on the racing program. Great. Thank you very much. Good talking. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.